everything that we was fucked up with in the 60s that we was beefing about is worse than it was in the 60s now. It's just gotten progressively worse. It's bigger now. We had few representatives in Congress. Now we got a Congressional Black Caucus that don't vote on shit. <laughs> what? what the fuck does that mean? We had two people in Congress that raised hell and be better than the Congressional Black Caucus with 50-something people that don't say nothing. So we got progressively, well, yeah, we got representation. Black mayors up their ass now and don't have shit. Cops still murdering us. Probably a black mayor in that town. Probably a black police chief that that motherfucker worked for. And the pure come out there and say the officer was doing this job. A black man. He won't turn in his badge and resign and say, I can't stand up in front of this press and say that that officer was doing his job. Because in all my consciousness and all my feelings, that could have been my baby. And I can't just stay and, and so I resign. You know how much heart that would have took? That motherfucker would be a hero. Like that. He ain't got no balls. The paycheck is a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Because he won't endorse that shit for what? He's a professional. He's going by the book. What book, motherfucker? What book are you going by? Huh? What book is this that was written that said you're supposed to stand up and endorse some shit like that because you're the police chief? And if you took some action on this cracker, every cracker in the police department would be talking about how you rush to judgment, how you know you racist, and you, and you don't back our officers, and all of this shit. The moral thing to do was to hold a press conference and say, well, I reviewed this video. And after my review of the video, I can't stand here and say anything that would affect this case, affect what I feel, what I feel would affect this case, and whether this, this officer is going to be judged fairly. So I resigned. As a black person, what I saw, it's the only thing I could do is resign. He ain't got a motherfucking black cop in this country that would do that. Not one. You know how many police chiefs of these towns and cities you got that's black? Not one. But couldn't they stay in a position, use their position? They can't. They can't. One person is not going to change that institution. I remember the cop that came out and suspended the cop that beat, hit, beat me up. They got rid of that motherfucker. On the board of the, the board of trustees, wherever the, the county board, the next time they had a vote, they removed him from, from being the police chief. And they, did, they didn't say they removed him because of me. They removed him because he, he didn't support officers too tough. But that's what, and he told me that's why he got sat down. It was a black commissioner that tabled the resolution. A black one. <laughs> if you see what I'm saying, one person is not going to change this institution, man. He can make a statement. That's all he could do. So like Ross Barack. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. If Barack, remember I was telling you about Ross when before he got elected. I said, man, Ross will do a good job if he don't become a politician. Didn't I actually tell you that? If he don't become a politician. Well, Ross became a politician. Now, that, do, does that mean I think Ross Baraka is phony and that what he believed in is bullshit? And that, you know, no, I don't. I don't. I really don't. But I believe he became a politician because he thought that that's the only way he could achieve whatever he could achieve in that position. You understand? He didn't look at it as an abolitionist, because an abolitionist wouldn't give a fuck if he got reelected. He wouldn't care. Because by the time I finish with this bunny, by the time I finish with this scrambling this egg, y'all will never put this shit back in the shell. I scrambled this shit the fuck up in my little four years. I have the police, I have the police living in the projects. They be beefing like a motherfucker, living in the motherfucker project with the Crips and the Bloods. Right now, the, they be talking about, yo, officer so so my man. They be talking about going. You understand? Park his patrol car out there, shit's on crates. Yeah, motherfucker. Have them living up in, 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 and go to those rich people's neighborhoods. Talk about it. The police have to live in the community that they police. And where those rich folks got property that's, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars an acre, okay, we're going to use the county's, the county's power of eminent domain to claim this property to house police officers and their families in the community that they police. 
Boy, them motherfucking rappers will have a fit in the real estate. You're going to put some poor ass working in class cops out here. This is supposed to protect us. They ain't supposed to be with us. Oh, class contradiction jumping off here. That nigga ain't do no shit like that. You know, he ain't do no shit like that. He was supposed to break that shit the fuck up. He could have did it. He could have made residency clauses mandatory for probationary policemen. And they probationary policemen for like 24 months or something. So every policeman, when he first started working in as, as a policeman, had to live in the community that he worked in. And it was up to the city to provide housing, access to affordable, decent housing for city employees in these areas. So all that gentrification shit, that shit would change. There's a whole lot, this is simple shit that a motherfucker could do. Yeah, everybody gonna resist it. He ain't gonna have a friend in the bureaucracy, but he don't give a fuck. You remember? He's an abolitionist. Why would I care what the police like and don't like? I ain't gonna be here next year anyway. Which of is in Brooklyn? Oh, Barron. Barron. Barron mm -hmm. and, and, and Lumumba. Yeah, forget Lumumba. Barron is a whole different story. Barron, and you know, Whatever you want to say about Barry, he got shit going on over there in this district. He got, oh, well, you went out there with me. He got shit going on over there and getting people involved. And see, see, I'm not, I'm not on no shit when you can't do nothing unless you just burn the motherfucking house down. I ain't talking about that shit. Barron is a good example of that you could take your politics, you understand, and empower people and create little things where now he got a whole community that literally he could call the arms if he wanted to. You ain't coming in this motherfucking community with that shit. And it's a wrap. You understand what I'm saying? And it ain't just some young kids coming out. Some it's the old lady that got access to the apartment that she got now because of the subsidies that he created. So now she's in a nicer house, nice apartment. You know, she can go to a little health spa down the street with a little social security. Little shit like that. All politics is local. So I'm not, you know, I ain't talking about that. 